So I've had my SIM card and my Pine phone for about a day now. So I did it previously where I had it in for a day or two under Fosh, and it was okay. But what I really wanted to try and do was like try it with Sway for a slightly longer extended period of time. Um, there are still some things that I have run into that um, are still some like holds somewhat per se for like keeping my other phone around but basically so i've taken the pine phone out a couple times on battery let me try and get this unlocked okay so <clears throat> basically text messaging it works just fine i still get like all the cool spam oh messages and whatnot um calls come in and go out pretty okay um and obviously um 4g works even though at&t wants to think that the um, modem doesn't support it um it does um and they tried to like do a couple finicky things when i switched my sim card back to my other phone that i'm recording from but <clears throat> oh it was a few days ago i did a um i pulled my pine phone off battery and went to a thing for about a couple hours and what i was doing is basically testing the battery on standby on sway because one thing that i noticed when i've kind of done it previously is x uh dw the dwm side of sxmo has this thing, has an issue with the battery, like, draining really quickly, because I guess it doesn't go into idle properly, whereas on the Sway side of SXMO, it seems to work just fine. So I haven't quite riced up the Sway side as much as, oh, which one is it, that one, as the DWM side, obviously. So if I go over there, you can see that I've got a few more colors configured. Um, I will probably work on that, but I have messed around with some of the hooks and, like, changed up the hooks. Um, some things broke when I updated um, Arch before I slipped the SIM card in. So that's why some things might be a little bit weird. But, yeah. I've mostly been hanging out in Sway. And again, one of the issues that I've run into is um, because I'm running this off of an SD card. Oh, WageRoid does not want to work under this at all. So like for the like one or two apps that um, basically keep me on Android. Let me slip that in. And I've got to pull that mouse nub out and slip it in here and then I can hey shut up I can take that and close that because for some reason the um sway configs kind of break for whatever reason but yeah Something in the SXML stuff on art just, like, doesn't like it, but it seems to work just fine, um, as is. So the battery lasts pretty well on standby under Sway, and I think part of that might be the crust and what all that they do in the way Sway Idle works and whatnot, but yeah. Um, I guess I'll have to do some other testing on the DWM side to see if that works out, but... <clears throat> Other than that, I've messed around with some of the SSH stuff a little bit, and I'm pretty happy with the way it has turned out. Um, I can do a lot of the text message stuff and whatnot from it. I have been playing around with Bluetooth a little bit, and it's been debatable. Um, I'm still going to have to work that out, but I... I'm going to take a second, and then I will show you what SSH works like. 
up here. Plus, it'll be easier to demonstrate things that way. So, yeah. Okay, so it took me a second to get things up and going, but here we are. So, um, one thing I did note, so there are a lot of things you can do straight from, like, the terminal in SXMO, obviously. So, if I go SXMO and hit tab, these are all the built-in, like, SXMO scripts. And there are probably a few of them that you will really worry about from SSH, but they let you do a lot of cool things. So... I won't look at the hooks menu just yet, um, but let me go, where is it? Not send SMS, modem text. So let me take a second to bring you here. Modem. Okay, so yeah. If I go back into this one, so do, do. so here we see we've got the same message that I had pulled up on my phone and the same thing. So one thing to note is there is a another oh, message configuration that someone put in. They replaced their... um. SMS hook with something else so that the message is formatted much nicer. And one of the devs, because I've been keeping track of the um, dev channels, said that it looked really nice. And it sounds like they're going to probably implement it in since it's like also separate, like makes it a little bit more, e little bit easier to differentiate between who's talking based on like the header line. So let me actually. Oh, never mind. I crashed when I tried to run OBS the last time. So yeah. <clears throat> but basically, there's that. Um, so yeah, and if we go to SXMO, where is it? Hook menu. So this is probably the like one where you're going to like customize a lot of things and whatnot. And so I've got a plan for the missed call hook. So what this does is it shows you like hooks that you have that are your own. So if it is a hook that is currently in your user config directory, it'll have a U next to it. And if it's relying on the system one, it has an S. There are some hooks that you can create custom that will be not available in the system and that are like your own custom hooks that you've implemented yourself otherwise that you can do. And those will be marked with an X, I believe, if I remember correctly looking at the script for it. And so that's basically how this lays out, is it brings this up, and it shows you all these options. You can either exit or go into them. So like, for example, with my SMS one, if I go into it, I can edit or I can delete it and use a system hook again. But what it does is it pulls this up and for some reason oh my thing is broken so um you basically can replace like the file that it uses or whatnot with it so if i go into my the hook menu again and i go into ring you can see that I actually have a custom ringtone set up because I literally only changed the oh, file in this script and that's it. I can do a lot more with it and show like other cool things with it and whatnot, but um, this is basically oh, the ba base of it and you can come in and do like all kinds of things with like your different hooks. So if I take one more gander and I looked at missed calls, so like what I want to do with missed calls is I'm thinking of doing because it kills MPVD, MPVD and it's like, okay, I missed a call and the ring just stops. What if I add like another sound that plays using MPV, kind of like the ringtone or SMS does, 
except I play a different sound to say, hey, you missed a call, you dingus. And that's kind of what I'm thinking with that one. But again, uh, and if we go into that again, obviously it gives you like a lot of options that you can mess with. So let's see, D menu. Uh, no, phone menu, pipe complete. So there are a couple that you may not really use per se. So, so do I have? I don't have anything for like RSS or Reddit set up. So that's why I'm not looking at those, but Let's go with YouTube. <laughs> Can I go? Okay, so some of them won't quite work the best, obviously, but a lot of the basic ones will work pretty well. I don't want to mess with the contacts or contacts menu because I don't want to show phone number, innocent phone numbers off. Um. Actually, let's go with networks. So, um, this is like it'll show all of the networks like this. So, what it does is it pipes through the SXMO D menu script, and based on the environment you're in, whether it's from SSH, a, or a terminal, it'll use like this menu. I believe is what this is, if I recall correctly. And if you are in Sway, it'll use B menu and of course D menu in the other. Oh. And this provides an easier way to where you can rice your stuff as well. So if I close out that menu and I go to my dot config SXMO directory, um, I've got most of my rice stuff in here. Um, there should be a way to mess with B menu, B E menu, or whatever. And let me. Sway. So this is the Sway um, configuration. This is the default. I had to kind of mess around with it a little bit to get everything right because when I based it off of the one that's available on the um, source hut. It broke some things. So I basically went back through and like reset things a couple different times and then like added in my stuff and like manually did some other things. So it was not a lot of fun, but um, let's see. There should be a way to Customize the BE menu. So if we switch over here, we've got. Are you going to be nice to me or am I going to? Okay. Okay. Um, we want sxmo.org. Oh, thank you. So if we go into the documentation, um, so it should be the stable that we're in. Go into user guide, and basically this gives you like everything that you need for customization. So if we go and look at where are our B menu stuffs. So obviously you can mess with the D menu stuff. Um there was an X resources type thing I thought I remembered from for the Wayland side of things. 
is idle lock lock dot blah 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 unlock sim so yeah i can change the desktop widget in the background as well so it's works really really well it's pretty cool okay so i really yeah anyway um the docs here the user guide is probably your best friend if you're trying to figure out how to use it not gonna lie they do have like various audio routing things for um that kind of a deal um I was trying to play around with Bluetooth and it didn't work out the best. And Oh, that's maybe why. But I will have to play around with that a bit more. And yeah, so I think that's just about everything. So you know where the links are in the description. If you've got like any comments or things like that, I'm always learning something like new about this. And so that's why I'm like doing this. I'm probably gonna keep my SIM card in my Pine phone for a little bit longer while I also mess around with it. So it'll be interesting to see how many calls I ac actually get dropped and how many texts I miss. So when I did add the MMS configs to SXMO, it did send me a couple, like, I did get a couple weird, like, non-text as well. But that, I haven't had that problem since. I've only gotten, like, campaign text and, like, text from family other than that. So, yeah, everything's worked fine so far. And, you know, you'll know about my problems in the future anyway. So, yeah, I will see you guys later.